welcome back to the dog father's models and toys today we are going to look at my collection of Marvel Comics star of Star Wars okay uh, Marvel uh, Star Wars was published by Marvel Comics yeah. Wait a minute. Star Wars was published by Marvel Comics. I don't know if I said that Marvel was published by Marvel, but hey. Um, this is issue one, the best seller, the highest priced one of the group. I have a uh, graded version of this. Uh, I'll show you, but I don't feel like Dick. Turn this thing off again. It ran from 19 May, no April of 1977 until 1986. I can't remember the month. It ran for 107 issues during that time. So Star Wars was profitable. There's reasons why it stopped prematurely, even though it was still selling. And then we'll go into that. And we'll just hit a few of these. This is issue number one. Sometimes it's funnier to read the out the read the out the comics from the other like that. Swing that saber, Ben, or we're finished. <laughs> Not all of them had little captions. It's like this one. This is a final issue for the Star Wars A New Hope. Got a Y wing and two X wings. Luke, Leia laying on the ground and, fight, and Luke fighting Vader, both with red lightsabers. Today you die, Luke Skywalker. This is your final battle. Well, one, Vader didn't know Luke Skywalker. And, spoiler alert, that father versus son. But that didn't happen until the Empire Strikes Back. Second, Luke was in a next wing. Okay. And this is when they started doing... Star Wars, in between Star Wars and the uh, A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. This is a Han Solo adventure. And during this time in my life, I was a Han Solo fan. So I really look forward to comic books about him. <coughs> and there's that bunny wabbit they say that George Lucas hated. And there's another, uh, and then here we go into Luke. More Luke. Chewie going berserk. And now the gang is all back together. Luke outside and that guy just wearing a mask with no spacesuit on and him bare legged and Han well just wearing his Han clothes I guess they were tough in that galaxy and I think this guy was a bounty hunter it's been a while and here's an untold tale of Luke Skywalker And this one I like because it says Star Wars The Empire Strikes. And then the Stormtrooper saying vaporize them. And this is the final issue before the Empire Strikes Back align. 
there's the Empire. I only have one of it right now. <coughs> and there's the, and they spent the next couple of years like hunting, fighting the Empire and looking for Han. And then every yeah, now and then um, I got these in the mail. So I get one in the mail and I seen this and I'm like, oh, it's a Han story solo. Or Han Solo story. And I'm excited because there's Han. And there's Lando, Luke, Master Yoda, Obi-Wan. And by this is a celebration of the 50th uh, issue. And here's like a spooky one. Now this one I really like. It went a little bit into the Mandalorian story. And Leia finds out now that I don't know. I cannot remember if they called them Mandalorians in the comic. I ought to open it up, but it's taped shut. I won't, but... But that's not Boba Fett. That's another Mandalorian. And Leia finds out not all Mandalorians are like Boba Fett. Even though Boba Fett was very popular. And um, this one got me. I, I thought the quest for Han Solo ends here. Oh, I'm like, oh, good. I... But they're chasing down carbon, uh, so someone in carbonite that ain't on. It's a Greedo looking thing. Let's see. And then you got these. And then you got more. Vader talking to look what looks like 3PO. Pop 3PO is probably saying hi, Dad. And then we got this is the first one after. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. But this is the first one after the Return of the Jedi. The artwork is great on the cover. I mean, that looks like Carrie Fisher. Harrison Ford, and you got Chewie and Jawas, and the issue, like Han's trying to get his life back after being in Carbonite, and you find out that uh, Boba Fett wasn't killed in the Sarlacc pit, but uh, he was put on board a uh, Jawa transport. But, but he didn't have no memory. And Han, which I guess uh, R2 gets ca captured by the Jawas again. And Han goes after him and he sees Boba Fett. And then he's trying to say the, the uh, sand crawler is about to go off the edge. And Han tries to save Boba Fett, but Boba Fett gets his memory back at the wrong time. And there's Londo trying in Cloud City. That looks like Han in a spooky story. Okay, and we got here's some Dark Horse comics about Boba Fett and there's Vader and there's the Dark Horse version of a duel of a Dark Lord and there's the Return of the Jedi another Return of the Jedi issue so that's that 
far as what I've got. I've got, I've got some more somewhere. And I'm going to find them and put them up for safekeeping. Oh, put these back. Okay, I got them all back in the box there. It probably could have went past 1986, but Marvel was getting fed up with all the rules that George Lucas put down. Luke couldn't use the Force other than the lightsaber. Uh, no mention of ha Luke and Leia being siblings. Uh, no kissy kissy between Han and Leia in their relationship. So, and basically, Marvel Marvel had their hands tied with Lucas. So Marvel just decided to drop them, and Dark Horse took over with more freedom. And now they're uh, they're back with Marvel again. Now that Disney owns Star Wars. But I agree with Marvel. The first run probably would have been a lot better after the Return of the Jedi if Lucas wouldn't have put his foot down like, okay, yeah, he can use the lightsaber, but not, not, none of this uh, force abilities. Uh, Han and Leia can travel together in the Millennium Falcon, but no kissy kissy. Luke and Leia are sister. I don't remember that. But that was then. This is now. So, did you have any of these comic books? If you did, let me know. Tell me what you thought about the artwork. After Return of the Jedi, the artwork, to me, the artwork got sloppy and didn't look good. But the, until then, though, they look good. And I want to keep a lookout for the ones in between that I don't have. So I get the whole collection and one day pass it down to my next generation I uh, take that back the second generation the generation after this the next generation maybe they can make a some money off of it and who knows but like I said if, if you had these let me know let me th know what you're thinking about them and please watch uh, Join, hit the you know, uh, subscription button. It's free. Oh, well, I'm asking for you just join. I mean, I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for a donation. <coughs> hit the uh, what's my call it? the uh, no uh, the bell button. Give me, or no, not the bell button. The notif the thumbs up button. I don't know where my mind's at. Give me a big thumbs up there on YouTube. And until the next video, I'll see you out there. Bye-bye.